Welcome to the first edition of The Friday Show. I'm Scott Jagow, editor of The Pollock Report, along with publisher Ray Pollock. Ray, I got to tell you, I'm really excited about this new opportunity for us to add a little perspective to the stories of the week, uh, the big races, and also have some fun. The eagle flies on Friday, baby. It's all about fun. We got the weekend. Everybody's working for the weekend. And what a weekend we have. Oh, yeah. Let's let's start with the San Antonio Invitational. California Chrome versus Shared Belief. You've got Hopportunity in there as well. It's rare at this day and age you get a two-year-old champion and a three-year-old champion meeting face-to-face in their four-year-old season. So this is exciting for the fans. And as trainer Jerry Hollendorfer said this week, this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, this is only a grade two race, and it's February. This is going to be a fantastic year. You've got Palace Mouse coming back. you got the horses going, and the East Coast going in the Don Handicap. It's going to be a great year for older horses. Unfortunately, I don't know when California Chrome and Shared Belief are going to run again because California Chrome is headed to Dubai after this, and Shared Belief is not. Well, at that teleconference this week with Hollendorfer and Sherman, Sherman certainly didn't sound that excited about going to Dubai. Excited? <laughs> I would say I would say he had zero interest in going to Dubai. He said, I hear it's a nice place. He wants to stay home. He wants this horse to be shared with the American racing public. And and that's a refreshing attitude, I think. Unfortunately, the owners are looking at that $10 million purse. Well, I just hope Chrome comes back from Dubai in good shape. And we do have that matchup later in the year between those two. I think shared belief is going to be tough in this one. He's been working really well. I think he's going to respond to to what happened in the Breeders' Cup Classic and deliver on Saturday. All right, let's get to hashtags of the week. Okay, Ray, so what's trending for you this week? My hashtag of the week is Maryland Racing. The Maryland Jockey Club put out a bold statement earlier this week when they banned two trainers, Juan Vasquez and Hector Garcia, after uh, several positive drug tests were detected for a steroid that isn't legal. This is, a, this is an important thing, not only for the racing fans who want a clean sport, but it's a message to other trainers and to veterinarians. This kind of nonsense is not going to be tolerated, not in Maryland. Together with a regional schedule the Maryland Jockey Club wants to put together and higher purses, I think Maryland has a really bright future. Well, my hashtag of the week is winter racing. I hate it. And I'm not talking about in Southern California or in South Florida where it should be occurring this time of the year. I'm talking about in the Northern climates. We've already had 34 cancellations this year. Uh, the fatalities at Aqueduct, it creates a dangerous situation. And I know there's revenue to be had with the simulcasting and jobs on the line. But this is an industry that's rightfully contracting. And I think this should be the next domino to fall. Yeah, this whole thing expanded in the 1970s when the New York off-track betting corporations were formed. They needed more product, so New York went to a year-round circuit instead of racing from March to November the way it always had been. And there were a lot more foals back then. We're down to 21,000 foals now. The number of owners are down. We don't need winter racing in New York. All right, let's see what's in the inbox. We get a lot of email in our inboxes every day. Ray, anything stand out to you this week? Well, one of the most interesting emails I got this week came from my friend Dennis Mills from Racing Future. He's starting a a dating service for people who uh, enjoy horse racing. It's called WinnersCircleDating.com, and it's described as an online dating site for singles to meet on their own turf while enjoying horses and the social experience of horse racing. Now, I don't know anything about uh, dating services. I've been married for a long time, but it doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. Yeah, and there are, there are a lot of these niche sites out there these days, like FarmersOnly.com comes to mind. So maybe it'll be su- a success. Uh, I spotted an email from George who was asking about Vic Stoffer, the former track announcer at Hollywood Park, and what happened to him. Well, he's at Golden Gate Fields as a safety steward, which is exactly what it sounds like. He's also an alternate when one of the other three stewards isn't available. So that's what Vic is up to these days. And Vic also said he's not ruling out the possibility of someday returning to the announcer's booth. So though those of you who are fans of Vic's calls, he may be back. If you have a question for us, be sure to go to the website, pollockreport.com, and click on Ask Ray. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week on the Friday Show.